Number one, guys, remember this. I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch him up. Paul Williams in his last fight. So, if you see blood, that excessive defensive style that he used to fight at one time. He's been very much more aggressive. He's starting with the fight with Jermaine Taylor. Well, this, this, he, he's trying to show or find out. This page here, it looks like the fight's going more to the pattern of Ricky because Rick is making Paul burn up a lot. Hard right hand by right. There's a good right hook by Williams. There's a left over the top by right. Around acknowledges that right with his defensive skills may block, slip, or deflect more of those punches than he's accustomed to, to which he says, no problem. I'll keep throwing punches as right or as, as Williams does in the last minute of the round. And not that Williams is landing all of them. Good. I didn't say, I didn't think he won the round. I thought he landed a more cleaner single punch. But no, I think Williams won the round. On oh, sheer volume. Did the quality of Winky Wright's punches outweigh the quantity? I can see how the official judges scored that first round. It's an interesting subject. Oh, I'm quite sure most of them scored it to Paul Williams. I thought he Paul won the round, but I was impressed with, with the clean of power punches coming from Paul. I mean, from Winky. Now, here we go. Is Wright going to stay with this? When is he going to retaliate? The ambitious, hungry fighter like this who throws that many punches there aren't many poise pauses in what he does. And then you still have to go. I think of him as a wind turbine, Jim. <laughs> Green power. Good short shot. There's a welt under the right eye of Winky Wright. And Williams has seen four punch combination by Williams. He hasn't knocked out anybody of any consequence in 10 years. Punch that may ultimately do damage for Williams if he's able to hurt right in this fight would be the uppercut. It's hard to follow the punches coming over top and then you never know when you don't see it. Right scoring at the end of a left hand. Now he lands a more solid left cross inside. Crowd like the... Good body shot by Paul Williams. He's such a variety. Paul's moving his head. He slips a shot right there. Look at the head movement. Three to nothing, Paul Williams. I scored the first round even. I have it two rounds for Williams. See, here's where Winky, what Winky does. He doesn't. Paul Winky tonight, I mean, because usually if Shane Mosley tried to attack hold Winky, on, but on, Shane was just physically too strong. Main Taylor, Winky was the aggressive guy for the most part. But this guy. Your jab. Keep the stick going. That's what's going to save you in the fight. Right landed a good left and right. Solid punch is inside for Winky. There by Williams. behind I've been very impressed with him tonight he's fighting tonight he's not trying to defense fight he's taking good punches and he, and it's just just extremely oh, for the most part Winky's been holding more to be I think this is Winky's best round here you see what I've been watching early in the fight here you see Winky holding on and you see Paul doing everything to try to still get a punch in and often when that happened earlier output for the fight he still doubled right's output. Big left hand and a big right by Williams. is trying to trap Williams into walking into something. Right. And he had the formula when he landed a right. I think it's possible the judges gave Winky. The I wouldn't be shocked if there's a judge out there with a 6 nothing, Or maybe the junior middleweight division. Or maybe still the welterweight division. Hard right hand by Williams. 
That right hook, one of his best punches of the fight. He knows it. He's trying to bust. Right in a guard mode. No. If, if you had wanted him to, could Tommy have achieved a work rate like this? No, no matter. This I would just say to myself, on, this is on, unbelievable to see a man throw punches like this, even if he was a short guy, but if he had a tall guy, really to me he's like 6'3". To be able to throw, if, if Tommy was landing punches with the freedom that uh, he's in, this fight would have been over. But, but he, Tommy didn't have that type of stamina, hardly anyone. Ray Leonard was one of the few fighters that I know that had great stamina, but he was built that way, but not to be tall like this. Winky Wright has landed some very solid right hooks in this round, but they get lost in the show. I always try to be honest with my fighters, even though some of them don't like it. But I would tell them at this stage, I would say this stage here, serve your punches and punch with full power when you do punch. Plus, we're losing the fight. Wright has been in with some excellent jabbers through the course of his career. And already, See in eight-plus rounds, Williams has landed more jabs than anyone ever landed on right. Fought past the 10th round 20 times in his career. Williams only twice. Williams runs out of the corner and tries to nail right with a surprise left hand. That doesn't work, so he follows it up with about, oh, 15, 20 other punches. Right trying to seize an opportunity to counter here, but eventually just gets overwhelmed by all the activity and has to hold his guard up for Kelly Pavlik. Right, because volume-wise and speed-wise, he'll have a tremendous advantage over any... Energy level is extraordinary. Oh, good right hook by Williams. And increasingly, Winky Wright is taking more punishment than... In this round, will have thrown a 1,000 punches in the fight. Wright may make it to 500. Unbelievable. That's where our hearts are tonight. Oh my God! Look at this, Williams. Mo and this is a fight, David. Did that? You, and if you're Winky, you're glad it's not a 15-round fight. Whereas usually the other way around, the tall Winky fight is the one that's worried about time. 15 rounds would favor Williams in this fight, even though he's thrown all of the punches. Chases right into the corner. Closing bell coming. They go to the distance. And Paul Williams, Jerry Roth, and Robert Hoyle, 119 to 109. Adelaide Bird, 120 to 108. All three to the winner by unanimous decision. The Punisher from South Carolina, Paul Williams. So Adelaide Bird scores it.